in three, two, one. Welcome back. We are live. This is a Tuesday, January 26th. This is episode 81 with ODE Media, ODE Digital Education, Online Digital Education. Kanye, I'm tired. But anyway, today in ODE, which is a community of teachers that collaborate with teachers to ascend the value ladder and collaborate with each other's success. Uh, I've been talking about, you know, how to get it going, how to get it done for you guys. You know, I try to provide you tips and a whole bunch of other good information because uh, the mind is a terrible thing to waste. So today, episode 81, we're going to talk about teacherpreneur tips to achieve positive economic results. And to achieve positive economic results, you got to have the right mindset. You got to, your mind's got to be, you know, focused on one thing and one thing only, you. And of course, everything else that comes with that. But, you know, you set the mind right, everything works out, you know, along the way. So let me give you my full disclaimer, because full transparency is a good thing. This is not a get rich quick program. If you're in a hurry to get scammed, get out of here. You know, um, you want to play the lottery, you want to play Bitcoin, you want to play, you know, with whatever. Uh, that, that does work. Sometimes it works. But, you know, the, the most consistent thing that has worked over the last 10 billion years is one making an effort for themselves and when you make consistent effort and you have that relentless pursuit of happiness uh, amazing things happen you actually get to discover who you really are and all those economic blessings they just happen they do you know so so part of the mindset and I talk a lot about that you know so you're not gonna get rich quick here all right? I only work with high value high integrity educators I'd rather keep it that way because I get to cherry pick Cool people along the way and this online business model is organic uh, that means that you don't pay for ads you know you get to do the hard work what you're passionate about you get to learn a lot about who you are and who your dream audience is you know as you start to grow and scale well look once you start making money you're gonna have to reinvest in yourself to you know broaden that you know, that attraction, you know, uh, get out there a little bit further, you know, and paid advertising does work in that aspect as well. But right now, organic means it's cheap. You're broke. You don't need to spend the money. But it does require your commitment to start and grow your audience over 90 to 120 days. You know, every day for any shot of succeeding. And, you know, every day it's like, you know, it's not a full-time job because if you have one, don't quit your job, all right? J-O-B, all right, but you have 90 minutes, you have 60 minutes a day, you have 20 minutes a day. Look, results vary due to how much work you actually model from this proven system. So don't cut yourself short. Look, a lot of people can get by at five minutes a day, but that is the effort, you know. The results will happen based on how much effort you put into it on a daily basis, and you model a proven system. Les Brown, a motivational speaker that I enjoy, uh, you know, he's 75 years old, and I learned today that, you know, he's been doing live radio for 51 years, and man, can he really uh, impact an audience. He's got millions of followers, millions of listeners. When he goes live, people listen. And he says, and I like this new quote is, if you're casual about your dream, your dream will end up a casualty. Yeah, if you're complacent, you can't, you can't cry about the fact that you're not succeeding in what your your desires are because you got to go out after it relentlessly. And as you do that, your brain starts to really adapt to the fact that you are that magnificent. So leave a legacy, not a liability, he says. So today we're talking about teacherpreneur tips to achieve positive economic results. You know, the struggle is real in all aspects of your life. My life, everybody's life, both personally, professionally, and fictitiously. Yeah. yeah, a lot of us live in a fictitious, you know, world in our mind. But 
it's real to them as well. These three lives, okay, to balance while trying to avoid unhealthy and negative behavior. That's kind of a balancing act that, you know, most circus acts don't even, or can't even do. So due to this, there are many teacherpreneurs who stay focused on their day-to-day -day routines that they disregard the most important stress signals that does affect their career and family. And it does. It affects you. <laughs> Negative vibes affect everybody. Look, my childhood was no better, okay, than the masses. Uh, you know, it, it was a lot worse than those who had it good. And it was a lot better than those who had it totally bad than mine, or worse than mine. So people's lives are filled with abuse, financial difficulties, tragedies, you know, and emotional dysfunctions. You know, and, and we, t we start to accept that as like, it's normal, I'm cool. I found myself overwhelmed by the age of 13 with negatives in my life, huge. Well, they weren't huge back then, to me it was the norm. You know, and it took years of dedication, hard work and education uh, to break the cycle and master my personal life. You know, the first step in my journey was becoming aware of what I needed to change. However, at the tender age of 22, I don't know, it might have been 20, 21, you know, I decided to participate in, in, in a weekend psychological workshop in New York City, a two-day event in Madison Square Garden in New York City called EST Training, EST Training, okay, and listening, you know, to other people's problems to find out what, what is wrong with me. It's usually what we say, right? What is wrong with me? Well, I got to tell you, you know, that after two days of listening to other people's life's tragedies, I learned to empathize with other people's pain and realize there's nothing wrong with me. I just needed a mindset change. Yeah, I did. A lot of us do, you know, because we're in the fixed mindset. You know, we learn it as we're growing up and we're like, yeah, that's normal. And we validate, we look for validations for things like that. Like what? Like in school, for example, you know, I'm an A student, and all of a sudden, it's like, if I don't get an A, I, I feel stressed out, like, like that's crazy. I, I should get an A. I'm entitled to an A. No, you're not. That's a fixed mindset. So I started to implement good habits, like positive affirmations, gratitude, even helping others. To be honest, I wasn't even aware that I was actually doing this you know, uh, with the purpose of wanting to change. Uh, I felt the need, I don't know why. It's just like, you know, it's in my nature. I want to help and I put others ahead of me, which is the way it should be, but I totally started to disregard myself in a lot of ways. You know, I learned different techniques to handle my own problems. Techniques that I now share with my teacherpreneur coaching clients, okay, to help them reach positive growth in their own lives. Now, through my journey, I became a successful person. However, I still fell short of my mark, both professionally and personally. Until now, you know, it, here I am in my 50s, okay? And I'm totally committed to one thing. My life first, as I hope others do the same. See, that was the big difference. I was helping others do their thing but I was disregarding my life. But now, my life first, as I help others do the same. Yeah. Value yourself. I value myself a lot now, trust me, I do. So, in order to handle negative thinking patterns, I encourage my clients to embrace a growth mindset and know their why. Once you identify the bad vibes in your life, you can create an extraordinary plan of action all right, toward positive growth. See, my goal as you know is to help 688,000 teachers this 2021 zombie year, okay? So that they can take a 
good look at themselves and monetize their experience and academic achievements so that they can enrich their personal lives by helping others do the same. I mean, does that does that make any sense to you? It should. You know, it is important, okay, to be able to know thyself and disconnect peacefully, okay, by forgiving and detaching yourself from those who have harmed you. Nothing wrong with that. After after you, you know, like log off or silence your phone or and your work devices, you know, if you live with others, just do something simple like plan family dinners where you can gather in a calm environment and enjoy, you know, inspiring conversations with storytelling. This is a great opportunity to hear about everyone's day. Brainstorm on solutions, not problems. Yeah. Feed the growth mindset, not nourish the fixed mindset. And enjoy a relaxing moment with those that you care about. Yeah. So we all need some type of accountability. You know, just to keep us focused and on track, okay? So you can find a community of like-minded people on Facebook that focuses on accountability and makes no excuses or blames, you know, others, all right, for their issues. Yeah, this is not a digital water cooler where you get an opportunity to bitch and moan about life without focusing on the solutions to those problems instead of nourishing the problem. That, that's just crazy. You know, so don't do that. You're just buying into that negative vibe. Get into those communities that, you know, they focus on the growth mindset and they collaborate, you know, success and on solutions, all right, to problems we all have. Choose a mentor, okay, who can provide the feedback you need to stay motivated. And if a mentor doesn't work, find another coach who can create and help you track your progress. Someone who will assist, okay, with celebrating your wins. Every small win every day accumulates to a bigger one than the day after. So you want to be able to celebrate multiple wins. People act like, you know, uh, uh, oh, he, he got a C, so that's, that's that's not even worth celebrating. Yeah, he did, and it's worth celebrating like it's a, a, a thousand percent good. You know, inspiration is a beautiful thing when you, when you, you know, Plant that in somebody's brain, you know, especially kids. You know, being able to know your true self, your magnificence by eliminating uh, things that interfere with your priorities of self care, you know, uh, personal time, right? You know, those things become priceless. Creating a ritual of radiant living, this is something that I enjoy, okay, it's going to allow you. To strengthen your character in a way you truly desire to see yourself and the actions you take. So align your industry, compassion, humility, patience, honesty, and courage to build your character. Show appreciation and love to everyone and your significant other. Yeah, I'm learning how to do that myself. So I'm still guilty of being a jerk. I know. But, you know, the fact of the matter is, um, I'm not perfect, but I am cognizant of the fact that I can improve, you know, who I am and how I treat people, especially my significant other. So you should too. You know, begin by expressing gratitude for, your, for their efforts, right? People need to resonate with positive vibes and believe in gratitude. This will improve your relationships by reducing a multitude of toxic emotions ranging from anger to jealousy to resentment, you know, the fixed mindset. You don't want that. Or in a lot of cases, uh, I love this one, the FOMO syndrome, F-O-M-O. -O. You know what that stands for? That stands for the fear of missing out. That's a real thing. You know, people with a fixed mindset, you know, they, they, they have a fear of missing out stresses them out unnecessarily so you know it's upside to all of this is that happiness and you know happiness increases the desire for self-improvement so you can eliminate all this negative vibes to achieve that positive economic results you want by taking all these little tiny steps 
they become wins at a daily basis. Look, if you're feeling down, take small steps to try to get yourself into a positive energy flow. That sounds realistic, right? Negativity is a dominant emotion. Therefore, you need to work harder to become positive. That's the hard work that a lot of people don't want to do. It's easy to be complacent. It's easy to say, fuck it. It's easy to just lay down and take it. No, man. Be Braveheart. Be William Wallace. Okay? Fight for that freedom, your personal freedom. Okay? You know, you need to work harder to become positive. Address the negativity that you're feeling head on. Look at it. Call it out. And kick his ass with a positive affirmation. Yeah. Once you recognize how often you have negative thoughts and what causes them, you can begin to adjust how you react to them. This becomes a good habit. Keep your mind focused on solutions in your life instead of what problems you have. You know, your fixed mindset affects just about everything. It affects your everything. And your everything affects your personal life. So do the opposite. The hard work. Make the effort. Making that effort will get you out of that funk. Continually work on how you combat negative thinking and make you more successful in all aspects of your life and allow you to become or to have the positive economic results that you desire. Allow yourself to believe you are financially independent as you monetize your experience and academic achievements by providing solutions to those who need your expertise. The more people you help, the more economic freedom you will obtain. Those are blessings that come from. They just come from the universe, okay? So one of the ways that I do it is by promoting educational affiliate programs. If you want to learn more about that, ask me hashtag me you know come to my community send me a, a, a private message you know on messenger leave a comment let's schedule an interview let's talk about this live i love doing that now it's like to me doing live interviews is so cool because i i, I get to meet and learn from others as well you know and people are just really magnificent you know, so don't deprive yourself of this opportunity. Monetize educational affiliate programs. I do. I monetize with ClickFunnels. You have Teachable, Fiverr, Coursera, Rosetta Stone, Brain Sensei. Or ask me the five ways that you can monetize your experience and your academic achievements. So remember, you're magnificent. Okay. Leave me a note, let me know, leave me a note, leave a comment, okay? Because 688 teachers are wanted. I want them. Because I'm going to help them learn to leverage their experience and degrees to garner the mindset needed online so that you can become economically stable, really. To have positive economic results. When you have that, and you have the right mindset, yeah, you get to invite me to the party. And I like to eat good, so I'm ready. So join me and see why. This is Gabriel. This is episode 81, January, Tuesday, 26th. And we spoke about entrepreneur tips to achieve positive economic results. I look forward from hearing you. Thank you very much. This is ODE Mastery Facebook Community teachers that collaborate with teachers to what? To ascend the value ladder. To help each other out, to collaborate. If you compete in my community, I kick you out. We don't want that toxicity here. So be nice to each other and rise to the occasion. Thank you again for your time. My name is Gabriel. Have a great day. See you mañana.